The Saudi-backed Super Golf League This Saudi-backed golf league could very well be the rival league that the PGA Tour needs. What exactly is this league offering professional golfers, and is it mouthwatering enough to get them to join? We're going to tell you all about it in today's video, so be sure to stick around. Welcome to Golf Links. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notifications on new video drops. Credit for the idea for a new golf league goes to Greg Norman, who was once the best player in the world. However, this idea didn't just come to life in 2020. In fact, the concept of a breakaway league has been his dream since 1994, when he publicly announced his plans for a world golf tour. This was supposed to be an eight-field event with the best players ever. That plan never came to life, but Greg didn't give up. Now, more than 25 years later, Greg is back with a new challenge to the PGA Tour. Now, the established ecosystem has come to welcome the Live Golf Invitational Series with Greg Norman as the CEO of Live Golf Investments. However, this time around, the league is being financially supported by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, and that means enough cheddar to attract the top players. But what exactly is Greg's plan? The chairman is looking to kickstart a total revolution in the golfing world using new ideas. For example, shotgun starts, no cut, and 54-hole tournaments are not exactly regular sites in golf. But those are all features in the Invitational Series. He's also included team elements and 48-man fields, which a lot of us are honestly curious to see. Will Greg's idea of a more modern game of golf where fans and players have access to more golf opportunities really come to life? Live Golf told the world about their plans for an eight-tournament series of $255 million called the Live Golf Invitational, scheduled to start the week before the 2022 US Open. This event will kick off at the Centurion Club in London, but four of the events will take place in the United States. The Live Golf Invitational Series will be a three-round competition with 54 holes and no cuts. There will be an unusual twist in this competition, which is the shotgun starts. The goal is to reduce the time window of the competition. This event also has a team component where 48 players will be split into 12 teams. So if you want to have a front row seat to the competition, you should be at the Pumpkin Ridge Golf Club in Portland, Oregon on July 1st. The Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey would host the event from the 29th of July to the 31st, while the Boston event is scheduled to begin on September 2nd. Finally, the last venue in the United States is at Rich Harvest Farms in Chicago, which will host these spectacular golfers on September 16th. Apart from the United States, the other hosts are in Jeddah and Bangkok, while the venue for the team championship, which is the final event, is still being kept under wraps. Remember what we said about Greg Norman wanting to create a world golf tour more than two decades ago? Well, the idea never got off the ground because he didn't have the finances or the support of other top golf establishments like the PGA and European Tour. Today, he has more than $100 million at his disposal from the Public Investment Fund. There are estimates that they could have as much as $500 billion at their disposal. And yeah, that is a lot of money. The Live Series is offering a purse with $25 million set aside for each of the first seven competitions. At the end of the series, there would be an individual champion, while the top three performers of the season are entitled to a $30 million purse. For the eighth tournament, the purse contains $50 million, while the winning team for each week will receive a whopping $5 million extra. Now, let's run some quick math. If 48 players had $255 million between them, that means that any player who has participated in all eight events will have earned about $5 million, and that's without winning a team event, all within eight weeks. That's some serious cash. When Saudi Arabia launched the Saudi International in 2019 as its first professional golf event, it had the undeniable approval of the PGA Tour since it was held as a European Tour event. Although there was some controversy since it was just a few months after one of many human rights incidents common in the country. Many professional players graced the event. However, many people have referred to this as sports washing. And if you're new to this term, here's a simple breakdown. In the sports world, trying to distract the public from human rights abuses by hosting several sporting events including tennis, boxing, soccer, and golf is what they call sports washing. Many big names, including Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka, and Bryson DeChambeau, 
have been paid to feature at this event, where Dustin Johnson was a champion in 2019 and 2021. However, now that this golf event is no longer in the European Tour, the European Tour has decided to pull out its initial approval. Now players on the PGA Tour don't have permission to join the Saudi-backed golf league or they could be banned for life. This is a pretty big deal since professional players have to be members of the PGA of America if they want to play the Ryder Cup, so that's a double knockout that could wreck any player's career. Players like Rory McElroy have been pretty loud about not joining the Super Golf League. Even after news about the $50 million offers broke out in May 2021, he simply said, I don't see why anyone would be for the new league. Phil Mickelson made a controversial comment where he called the Saudis scary and highlighted their human rights issues, but insisted he's toying with getting involved in the series to reshape how the PGA Tour operates. Well, these comments have had huge consequences. Several companies, including KPMG, Workday, and Amstel cut ties with him while Phil has decided to take some time off from golf. He's pretty much disappeared. On the other hand, players like Tiger Woods and Justin Thomas have been very public about their support for the PGA Tour. Are any players taking up the offer? Although the Live series haven't officially published the list of names of golfers that'll take part in the new league, some top players have already been linked to the event. Still, they've got a lot of us curious after claiming they recruited two former world number one players to join the Live Golf Invitational Series. Looks like we'll have to wait until the event in June before finding out who they are. So far, Greg Norman has sent out thousands of emails to professional golfers, including an NDA, which is stopping them from revealing information or the offers on the table. Phil may also have $100 million offers on his table and admitted that at least every player in the top 100 had already been contacted. This is confirmed by Lee Westwood, a Ryder Cup stalwart, who admitted that he signed an NDA as well. Other big names linked to this league are Kevin Na, who has played in the PGA Tour for years, Ian Poulter, who's a Ryder Cup stalwart, Xander Schauffele, who took part in the Asian Tour event earlier in Saudi Arabia, Bubba Watson, a two-time winner of the Masters, and Adam Scott, who thinks that the money and attention are positive things for professional golfers. So what does the future hold for the Super Golf League? The Super Golf League by Live Golf Investments has definitely rocked the boat of the golfing world. Offering millions of dollars in prizes to players got the PGA Tour responding with mouth-watering offers of their own. First, there's the $40 million bonus pool in the Player Impact Program they created to compensate players with more engagement. Now, they've increased this to a whopping $50 million, while the Comcast Business Tour that gives bonuses to top-performing players is about to double. Think that's all? Well, there's more. Any player who makes at least 15 starts will get $50,000. Is this enough to get players to forget about joining the Live Series? Well, time will tell, especially as the Saudi sponsor and Greg Norman are willing to do whatever it takes.